saw a video recently where David Dawson took his old SEMA X8 clone and he converted it to brushless. And I thought that would be cool. Uh, this is a fun platform. I kind of learned one of the quads I learned how to fly on. I beat a couple of them up. Here's a, sp a spare shell. Basically, I mounted the motor to the top. You have to Dremel sand or however you want to sand, but you basically got to get that flat, obviously, so the motor can go down on top. And then here, there's a little ridge at the bottom. You got to sand that flat as well. And then I use these um, motor brackets that come with a lot of cheaper motors and motors you would use on RC planes. I had a, several of these laying around. Basically, you want to bandsaw or hacksaw that end off. So you have still have this motor mount hole. This would go underneath here, and then your screw would go up through the bottom of this through that into the motor, and that provides some more reinforcement for the motor pods, because this is just thin plastic on top, but this is obviously not gonna be <laughs> for racing and proximity flying. It's just gonna be for cruising around and having fun, maybe strapping a camera underneath, but I did wire it up for FP FPV. I wanted to keep the original LEDs, so I used a step down, um, I'll put a link to what I used. Basically, I got it on Amazon. It's this little device here. You solder that to the uh, input voltage. It steps it down to five volts, and that runs my LEDs. You have to make some kind of a platform here for your beta flight flight controller. Uh, David used, um, he used the Bugs flight controller on his. Uh, his, he said, matched right up to the holes or the mounts on here. But um, I'm running Betaflight on this one. Uh, flight controller, it's an old F4. These are all spare parts, and I know it looks like a mess, but these are all little B, one shot, 125. Um, ESCs, I'm using a FlySky receiver. Just ran the antennas up through the shell. And uh, my FPV, I got a old Esheen VTX02, I believe. Um, that antenna just tucks out the back. The door, I'm not running the battery inside because I'm going to run four cell on this. So I dremeled a hole and ran a battery strap through the bottom. I'm going to put the legs on. I have the original legs and I'm still working on my FPV camera for the front. I think I'm just going to hot glue it. But uh, I just wanted to show how I did it. I'll put pictures of what it looks like from the underneath of this so you can mount the motors. Um, going to do some tuning and hopefully be fine.